Scientists at the Rose Lab in Long Island have finally figured out that people with endometriosis have distinct molecular biomarkers in their menstrual blood compared to people without endometriosis. In fact, they found four so far. First, healthy controls had more normal stromal cells, which are special cells that help the uterus prepare for pregnancy, whereas people with endo had more abnormal ones. And by the way, prior to the Rose Study's method of collecting menstrual fluid to uncover these biomarkers, the only way to collect endometrial stromal cells was via laparoscopic surgery or painful biopsies. So thank bless for the Rose Lab. But the difference in endometrial stromal cells was already known before, but then, they found more. Second and third, endometriosis patients had more T cells and B lymphocytes, which is indicative of chronic inflammation of the body, which tracks since endometriosis is known to be an inflammatory disease. The last one, which was new information, was that healthy controls had more uterine natural killer cells, which are crucial for fertility. So there might be a more concrete link between endometriosis and fertility at a molecular level, but more research is needed. These cellular differences aren't just academic, they are the evidence that could potentially identify endometriosis with high accuracy and the foundation of what could become the first ever non-invasive test for endometriosis. However, this was only after collecting countless menstrual fluid samples and using RNA sequencing to identify every gene being expressed in endometrial menstrual fluid versus regular menstrual fluid. And let me tell you, the data from just one person could fill an entire bedroom. But the journey isn't over. Watch the full video of a Rose Lab tour in conversation with the head of the Rose study, Dr. Metz, on our YouTube channel now. I can guarantee you, you don't want to miss this one.